Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to another vlog. So today is Friday. It's probably about 8.15, 8.20 at this point. I have therapy at 9, so I am just getting ready for that. Um, I brush my teeth, wash my face, moisturize, all that good stuff. And I actually washed my hair yesterday, so um, I'm just going to touch it up. This morning, I don't do anything crazy. Where's my hairbrush? Um, I literally just go back through it with a straightener. I probably should use some sort of heat protectant, but I'm kind of in a hurry today. So my appointment's at nine. Um, so I don't have like a whole lot of time, but I figured I would just go ahead and start this vlog. Let you guys know what's happening. So today, like I said, I have therapy at nine. And then I just need to go do like some errands. So I need to get gas, um, get coffee. I need to go to Walmart and get a few things, some household stuff, and then um, I, I actually need to pick up a birthday present for one of the cousins that we have a birthday party to go to on Sunday. So I need to pick up a present for her. Ironically, she is into Powerpuff Girls, which is kind of funny to me because that's like my generation, um, but she really likes Powerpuff Girls. So I'm going to go find her. They have a two pack of like spring dresses, so I'm hoping I can find that and grab that for her and then we just need like body wash shampoo um i don't remember what else i have a list but wax melts i'm out of wax melts or i have very few left so yeah i just need to go grab a few household things um i also need to put in my grocery order i did make a meal plan yesterday but we are going to be going to get a fridge today hopefully um, because we've wanted a fridge for a long time, like a second fridge, but we just haven't really had the money to go out and get it. Um, and all the used ones that we've come across are kind of like dingy or they just, they're just not the best quality or appealing or whatever. So we recently learned about this appliance store in my town that is like refurbished appliances. And apparently he's really like trustworthy um and you get like a 90 day warranty so if you bring it home and it doesn't work then you take it back um so we're gonna go look over there and hopefully we can find something i'm looking for a side by side um i don't want one that's like has the top um because i want to stock up on meat and put put it in the freezer and then i also want to make some freezer meals um, just like a few things that we use quite a bit, like lasagna, meatballs, um, things like that. Cooked chicken, cooked hamburger, just like stuff like that that I use all the time that would make my life a little bit easier. So um, I really need to get a side by side for that because it would get lost if I get another one with a bottom drawer. I hate my freezer. Would not recommend getting a fridge with the freezer on the bottom. Things just get lost in there. And there's really not that much room. And also we have hard water. So we can't have like an ice dispenser. So I had to buy bags of ice. And that takes up a lot of room as it is. So anyway, all that to say, we're getting a fridge today, hopefully. It's been a long time since I put makeup on. Probably like last Friday, actually. Um, I'm starting, if you watched my last vlog, you know that I've not been in the best headspace, but this week has been better. Um, it's not been quite as intense as last week. Um, I think a lot of mine has to do with my cycle too. Like, I don't know what it's called. It's a certain kind of depression when it's like affected with your cycle. Um, so anyway, I'm going to talk to my therapist about that today too, because yeah um but i'm excited for therapy today because i am actually able to tell her that things have been better so i still haven't really had the motivation to like keep up with my house like you guys saw that i reset my house last weekend but after i reset it it kind of just went back um so which i don't want to do which causes more anxiety and worry and all that stuff but so my therapist is, we're working on, it's called 
EMMD or ED something. I don't know what kind of therapy, but basically it's like training my brain to think a different way by like tapping sounds and stuff. Um, so it's really relaxing. Um, so we have been working on a jar. So I have a jar that I keep things that I can't really deal with right now in the moment. Um, and we've like talked about it, made it up, all that stuff. So my jar, I've been putting, I put stuff in my jar last week and I think at first I kind of thought that it was kind of stupid. Like this is not going to help me, but I do think that because of the therapy that it is, I think it is helping. Um, because like last week we put mom guilt in there because I was feeling guilty about feeding my kids like chicken nuggets. <laughs> Um, and so we put that in the jar and this week, like you'll see my what's for dinner. I did not do anything fancy this week and I had zero guilt about it. So I don't know. It's just, it's crazy. So I thought I would share that with you guys. If you are feeling guilty or having some feelings that you can't really deal with in the moment and it's really causing you stress, get you a little jar and just put your feelings in there. Mine is a flip top glass jar and it sits in my pantry with all my sugar and stuff and yeah that's where it lives so anyway i have been blabbing for like 10 minutes now <laughs> um so i'm gonna finish up my makeup finish up my hair which i'm done right now so <laughs> um but i'm gonna get some water i've been trying to drink more water which sometimes doesn't go quite the way that I want it to because I get burnt out on water and then I just don't drink again. Like I, <clears throat> I'm so hungry all the time, but it's because I'm thirsty and my body is like, nah, girl, you're hungry. And I'm like, no, I'm thirsty. And then I just don't drink water. <laughs> so <sighs> it's a whole thing. It's totally fine. So anyway, I'm going to get my water and probably get on the road. I hopefully have enough time to get coffee before I go. We'll have to see. But anyway, figured I'd go ahead and start this vlog and let's go ahead and get this weekend started. A Walmart haul for you. So I had to get some stuff for the bathroom. So we needed some more shampoo. So I got this. And then I also needed some clarifying shampoo for me. My hair is getting greasier faster. So I probably just need to do a good cleanse. And then my husband and Liam both needed some more body wash. So this is the kind that I get. Um, me and my husband both needed some more loofahs, so I just got one of each. And then I went to the wax melt section. I picked up a few. Bubbles is my absolute favorite. It smells like the Downy Unstoppables Fresh Scent, so I try to get that. This is just like a good cozy scent, feeling cozy. And then this is what I have in my warmers right now, um, Lotus and Pearl. It just has a very clean scent. And then same with this. It's more of like a romantic clean scent. And then for the little girl that I needed to get a um, birthday present, I got some tissue paper, a little birthday bag. These are 98 cents at Walmart, if you don't know. And then her favorite color is purple, so I got her a little t-shirt with some little shorts so she can wear this summer. Her mom said that she needed that sort of stuff, and then she loves Powerpuff Girls, so I got her this two-pack of dresses. This was um, about $15, like $14.98 or something, so hopefully she will like that. Okay, so it's a little after two at this point. I picked up my house. I got everything tidy and things just like back in order. I've got my dishwasher running. I've got my washer and my dryer both running. So things are going good in there. But I have not been to the Dollar Tree yet today. And you guys know my Friday ritual is to go to Walmart, go to the Dollar Tree, nails, therapy, all the good stuff. Um, so I think I'm waiting on my mother-in-law to let me know that um, the girls are awake. Terry actually took Liam to fishing today's opening day of trout season so he did not get to do that this morning so he's gonna he's taking him right now so Liam is really excited about that but so I'm waiting for her to tell me that the girls are awake but I figure I'll go ahead and go to the Dollar Tree see what I can find there I'm not really looking for anything particular but I kind of just thought that I would start like getting stuff for their Easter basket so if I see anything that I think they would like then I'll just go ahead and put that up um, normally I get them like one big gift for their, um, Easter basket and then I'll just get them like a bunch of other little things, usually like some sort of snacks or whatever. So 
Um, if I see stuff there, then I'll grab that. Um, and I also want to get maybe some like eggs or something for my coffee bar. I still think that there's like something missing. So maybe I can find something. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to go to the Dollar Tree and peruse in there. And then when I get back home, I will share with you what I get. All right, I'm back. I didn't get very much stuff. I did get some stuff for baskets, but I'll share that with you at another time. So I did find these eggs. I'm going to put these rocks in them so they don't fly around. Put those on my coffee bar. I got some more of these little bubblegum eggs for the little thingy on my coffee bar. Some hair ties for Bristol. She was all out. And then I grabbed just a couple snacks that I saw. Well, good morning. Happy Monday. So Sunday kind of turned out to be just like a relaxing day. Um, I think I talked to you yesterday morning, but after that, nothing else happened. We went to a birthday party and then we came home and I just relaxed some more and we had dinner. We had like the Stouffer's microwave um, meatloaf with microwave mashed potatoes. I made some gravy on the stove, heated up some green beans and that was dinner. So right now it is about nine o'clock. I took a took the baby to our grandma's house and I am making some breakfast. I've got my little zero carb tortilla here. I'm making like a little breakfast taco, which has become like one of my favorite breakfasts. So because this vlog has kind of been like all over the place and very not productive, um, I'm gonna go ahead and vlog today too. I have a little Walmart delivery being a Walmart order being delivered soon. See, I can put things straight. Um, I think after lunch, actually. It's not going to be delivered until like 1 o'clock, but I'll share that with you. I just needed to get a few things to get us through the week, especially since if you saw my grocery haul, Walmart gave me a huge pack of chicken that was spoiled um, when I opened it. So it, it expired on March 1st and the grocery haul was on March 2nd. So when I opened it, it did not smell good. So... I had to order more chicken. They did refund me, thank goodness. I'm glad that they did that or I would have not been one happy camper. So then I went ahead and just placed a small order this morning. So I'll share with you everything that I got in that. I also need to buckle down and figure out what I'm getting the kids for Easter so that I can, for one, get that ordered and two, show you guys so that if you need some ideas, then you can have some ideas for your little ones. I think a lot of you, let me know down below, because I feel like my audience is um, a little bit older than I am. So let me know down below, do you have young kids or do you have older kids? So just to kind of share with you, if you're new-ish here and you haven't heard me talk about my kids, which is probably not the case, but um, I have a one-year-old girl, her name is Riley. I have a almost six-year-old girl, she'll be six next week, um, Bristol, and then I have a nine-year-old boy, Liam. So my kids are, are pretty spaced out, honestly, um, but I do have young kids compared to not young kids, I guess. Liam is starting to get older. Um, they're all just like at fun ages for different reasons. Liam is definitely coming into like his own personality and like have that he has that preteen personality and I am not looking forward to it because him and my husband like already clash so much and I have to like kind of be like the mentor or the mediator between those two a lot of the time and Bristol which is my almost six-year-old her attitude let me tell you those girls and their attitudes Riley is is uh she has quite the attitude too but she's one so i'll allow it <laughs> plus she's our last so she gets away with a lot more than what the other two did but anywho um i'm gonna sit down and eat my breakfast i just have my little breakfast taco here it's just the zero carb tortilla with a piece of ultra thin cheese if you want to save some calories if you're interested in that i don't know how many of you guys are interested but um, I like to get the ultra thin because it's 45 calories versus I think like 80 calories for just like a regular piece. And then I will pair it with some cottage cheese. The 1% or no, this is 2% low fat cottage cheese from Highland is my absolute favorite. I know a lot of people like the Good Culture and A&E, I think it's called, but I can't, they don't have that at my store. So I have to get Highland and I am just fine with that. So, and so if you guys watch my 2024 goals, I made it a goal for myself to read the Bible. Well, because the Bible is so hard to understand, it's not very going, it's not going very well. 
So one of you guys suggested that I look into this author, and I think you suggested the seamless one, but they were out of stock. So I opted to get the woven, and so yeah, I haven't started reading it yet, but I kind of like flipped through it, and it looks really, really good, but basically she just like puts everything together so it's more, you can understand it more. She like weaves all the stories together, so... I'm excited to get started on this. I don't remember which one of you um, suggested this, but thank you. I'm so excited to get started, but I wanted to share it with you guys in, less, in case you were interested in reading the Bible. Maybe we can like read together and discuss or something. Here is a little Walmart haul for you, just like midweek to get us through. So I went ahead and picked up some more of these zero carb tortillas. I use these for so many things. Um, I also wanted some pancakes, so I got these power cakes, the pancake and waffle mix for protein. So I think it said, yeah, 13 grams of um, protein for a third a cup, so that's pretty good. Um, let's see, I got some of these milk chocolate assortments. I love grabbing just a couple of these when I have a sweet tooth, and these have been great. Um, they're easy to control because they're so, like rich and smooth so it's easy not to overeat these so i really do like those um i also grabbed a thing of pickles i love snacking on pickles and the last one the last jar that i got i actually got two pickles out of it and then i dropped it on the ground so wanted to restock on that i also grabbed some chicken i'm actually not going to use this till tomorrow but the date is good by the 8th so it'll last for a few days but um, I'm going to put this in the fridge and then I will split it up into smaller bags and put it in the freezer. And then I needed to get over that $35 threshold for free delivery. So I went ahead and just stocked up on some pasta. So I got um, four pounds of spaghetti and then three pounds of elbows. I use this a lot when I make mac and cheese and then my husband just loves spaghetti. So we'll definitely go through this. But these are the only two options of like quote unquote bulk that my Walmart offered, so that's what I went with. But anyway, oh, I also got a bag of ice that I already put in the freezer. If you didn't know, you can get ice on your grocery delivery too, so just keep that in mind. But I'm gonna go ahead and get back to work. Okay, so it is 5.40. I just got home picking up Riley. I'm trying to get the kids. Liam is supposed to be getting in the shower. Bristol is getting dressed for tomorrow. So I have her take a shower every other night because she has eczema really bad. And so she has a shower every night, then it really flares up her eczema. Now in the summertime, um, if she's been like out all day, then I will make her um, take one like more often. But when it's just like this outside, I don't make her. Um, same with Riley. Will you please go take a shower? Yeah. Thanks. So for dinner tonight, I am making tacos, but I am also I dividing up the hamburger that I got. I think I'm going to be able to get four portions oh my plus my tacos. So that's exciting. Tacos, go take a shower, please. You, know, you get down as soon as you can get out. So my husband with his new job, he has not been getting home till like seven. That flung somewhere, but I don't know where it went. Um, so I go ahead and just like get everything done like I normally would. And then when he gets home, um, sometimes I'll eat with him depending on how hungry I am. But a lot of times I don't wait because I'm usually hungry. So um, a lot of times I'll just fix him a plate or I'll save him whatever and um, go ahead and like clean up dinner and stuff just because the kids go to bed at eight. Did you get dressed? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Can you go to your bathroom and go get um, your hairbrush and go find me a hair tie so I can get your hair up so it doesn't get tingly? Huh? Because that's life, my girl. I don't know what to tell you. So anyway, I'm thinking about doing like an updated um, after work routine. So 
if you're interested in that, let me know and I will do that. It's kind of like on my, been on my mind lately, especially since things have changed a little bit um, since the last time I did one. My kids are crazy after school. I know I'm not the only one, but it's like the most stressful time of night after everyone gets home, like in between like dinner and bedtime routine. So it's not like stressful. It's just like chaotic. So, and it's because the kids are tired. I'm tired, overstimulated, and it's just one of them things you just gotta kind of get through it and then if the baby is like extra cranky it just adds to it and yeah life with three kids all right i am walking to the couch because i'm getting ready to sit down and eat dinner i made tacos i usually dress mine with greek yogurt sharp cheese some ground beef lettuce salsa black olives and i think i have some bread onion on there too and we're just having chips and salsa on the side. I'm going to sit here and watch Acre Homestead and probably just relax for the rest of the night until my husband gets home.